hey you guys please like share and subscribe to my channel physics sarji the one stop solution for the students who are looking to take an extra lead in their preparation for je mains and je advance and here we are in the je mains debated question series wherein i bring forward to you today a january 2019 previous paper question on an oscillating support for a simple pendulum right there was a slight ambiguity in the question actually it's not slight uh, there was a huge ambiguity i should say for a, a student going through this particular question in the exam uh, situation it would be a very difficult one to resolve right so let's try to see the formal wording the concept of the question and also the solution uh, how it can be resolved in the examination so here we go 2019 january paper problem on oscillations a simple pendulum of length l 1 meter is oscillating with an angular frequency of 10 radian per second the support of the pendulum starts oscillating up and down with a small angular frequency of 1 radian per second and an amplitude of 10 power minus 2 meter the relative change in the angular frequency of the pendulum is best given by there are four options that he has given okay so what's wrong with this question so the first and foremost when someone looks at this question in an exam situation you clearly observe this word relative change and relative change in any quantity is nothing but the absolute change delta omega we can call it divided by the initial value omega it's a ratio of two physical quantities right and it should be a dimensionless one so the first thing that strikes a student in the exam is there's something fishy in this question with units mentioned and he's asking a fraction okay right so we'll try to go ahead and see what we can resolve through the problem and try to match as best as possible because the word best is used definitely he has not done the best with the question okay so let's try to see the concept uh, forget about the options how you would have solved this problem when options were not given okay so that itself is a very good question so effective value of the g actually changes so if you pan to the right of the screen there is a support which is going up and down as the pendulum oscillates in an angular shm so the support is in linear shm up and down and the pendulum is in angular shm of small angular oscillations okay so we all should know that in a linear shm of amplitude capital a and angular frequency omega the maximum acceleration for that support occurs at its extreme positions given by a magnitude of a omega square one positive and one negative depending on which extreme we are talking about okay so that will affect the effective gravity that you use for the simple pendulum the basic time period of calculation for simple pendulum we all know is 2 pi root l by g wherein the g gets affected because you are now sitting on the frame of a accelerated reference so in that accelerated reference the pseudo gravity would be a g plus or minus a omega square so when you are going up in one direction and when you are going down you will be having another effective g so that's what i have written here if you carefully come back to this initially when the support is at rest we all should know the angular frequency of the simple pendulum is given by root g by l this omega not is a symbol i used for the pendulum and omega is the symbol i am using for the support please don't get confused between the two omega so the given value of angular frequency for pendulum was originally 10 radian per second in the question okay you can go back and check the uh, wording of the question now the value of the g effective once the oscillation start should be equal to the original g plus or minus a omega square where i have written already and explained it and the value of this omega of the support is given as 1 radian per second okay so these are the two different quantities as this change is 0.1% if you carefully substitute the value of amplitude he gave as 10 power minus 2 meter let me go back and show it to you so you see amplitude of 10 power minus 2 meter and since omega square is 1 this would be 10 power minus 2 versus 10 which is nearly 0.1% so since the changes are very small that means whatever values that changes here is very small you can use the small error analysis between these two so omega not is proportional to g power half so the value of that delta omega by omega should be half times of delta g by g you should be able to differentiate this and get to this particular expression the power of half becomes a factor 
so this itself is what if you strictly take the wording of the question relative change in angular frequency is this factor which should not have units this should come out to be half times of delta g which comes out to be a omega square as substituted divided by g substitute all the numericals given throughout i am using g is equal to 10 meter per second square then you end up getting this which doesn't match with any of the options in both ways uh, if you ignore the units units should not have been there this is dimensionless number and also none of the numbers is 5 into 10 power minus 4 so as was expected now let's suppose if he is supposedly asking the absolute value of omega imagine he has made a, a typing error and he has uh, instead of asking asking a relative angular frequency since the units are mentioned if the students were looking at matching the option okay in the exam tense situation let's go for absolute change absolute change would be just multiplying this omega not with this right which is 10 so it will become 5 into 10 power minus 3 curiously that also doesn't match okay so student is under a lot of stress so what i should have advised uh, the student is to just leave the question because it will eat away a lot of time in such scenarios right and now because we are outside the exam we have enough uh, luxury to change the question so what should the question be for the je key that they have given they have given a key please understand okay right so you should have asked what's the order of the change in the angular frequency so this change or change that is 5 into 10 power minus 3 that i got in absolute value the order should have been asked so the order of 5 into 10 power minus 3 comes out to be 10 power minus 3 and uh, then only the given key which was let's say this this was the given key they gave this as the, i can't say this is the final answer but this is the key that they have given they did not delete or omit this question so maybe the word best he wants to represent the order all the answers are very far away from each other therefore he wanted to ask what is the uh, order of the answer but order of not the relative change he is asking absolute change so they they goofed up at two different places and still had the audacity to actually keep the final answer as it is without changing the key so the given key is a and what's my opinion uh, my opinion is the actual question should have been omitted from the final evaluation okay so um there is one more uh, intriguing oscillations problem from the previous paper i have made so please do check out the link of that particular problem on similar lines right so we'll try to uh, resolve whether the final je key given in this um, i won't say this is a tough question it's an intriguing question a lot of students get this one wrong right uh, so that i have also resolved in the je mains debated question so link is in the description below right and uh, in case you have watched both these videos already please do check out the rest of the important series that are running parallelly in this particular channel right all the pathfinder solution series olympiad workout series ats select series one of the favorite for the students. students where uh, all the different major institutes question papers of the past years and intriguing problems select problems from those which uh, enhance our understanding or problem solving skills required for je advance have been solved right and that series and result series all the toppers doubts of different uh, er, uh, years that i have been associated with uh, i have tried to put forward those doubts in the form of questions uh, you won't find these kind of doubts answered in our usual textbook so you will love these things if you give them time so please go through the description very carefully and uh, in case you like them please do like this video share this one share the rest of the content also as much as possible and do please uh, think of subscribing to my channel and request your friends to also come over here so that we can form a healthy family of uh, great discussions you see most of my videos do have comments also wherein lot of subject is discussed so uh, make sure that you are part of this particular family okay thanks for staying this long and see you in the next one